Hi everyone, this is Sabrina and we are here with Coffee with Sabrina. And today I have a very exciting guest. She has a lot to share with us and I am so grateful she's on the show. So we, with no further ado, I would like to introduce Maria. Maria, thank you so much for being on the show thank today. Thank you for inviting me. Yes. It's a pleasure and I'm so blessed that I'm here. Well, I'm grateful you said yes. <laughs> As yeah. so many people, I, I don't want to get in front of the camera, so I'm very grateful you It here. can be challenging if you're not used to it, right? Right, exactly. Uh, so tell us who you are and what you do and a little bit about you. Uh, well, I am Maria Gale and I am the CEO of 106.5 FM in um, Dallas, Texas. And you can hear it, you know, through uh, different cities around Dallas. Um, it is a Spanish radio station. It's Christian based and a little bit of that radio station. Um, we've been in business for like 30 years now. You might say, wait, wait a minute, you were a baby, right? Yeah. right? <laughs> well, so, you weren't even here yet. Yes, you were definitely, <laughs> definitely. I'm 32. Okay. So um, a little background story on that. Mm -hmm. My father is the founder of 106.5 FM. Yes. And um, he's been in business for a while now. And I, at first, did not see the vision to be honest i was not interested um when i came about to look at all this broadcasting communications and stuff was um at an early age right but it wasn't a lot of, i wasn't very interested really out of high school i did like a part-time there my father was like come you want to work i'll you know give you cash for a part-time yes. reception job, right? Um, but then later on, you know, as years passed, it was, it just grew in my heart. So I'm like, wait, wait a minute, what does my dad really do, right? Yes. Um, and I think that was just God working in my heart. And I grew very passionate about uh, broadcast in general. Um, and that's when I came about to get more involved in the business. Um, my father's like, okay, you're ready to learn. Then let's put you up front and here you go. He really, what he said was like, I'll send you all my emails. You read all the threads. And because I'm not really a teacher. Right. So, yeah. so you got to figure it out yourself. So I kind of right. had to figure it out. Yeah. But that's how it started. That's how it started. Just asking questions, um, just being very involved in the meetings and everything that was going on in the company. And from the radio station we have in Dallas, we also have a radio station in Wichita Falls, in Fort Worth in in california and we have in orlando florida as well wow well first of all um kudos to your dad for yes. trusting you yes because that's a big thing to it is. especially with your younger children to say here take this and run with it you know because i don't really know how to do this so right. you, you, he knows his business side of it yes but he doesn't know how to make a, a mini him really Right, right. right. So it he was very allowed hard. you. He allowed you that time. He allowed you that opportunity. And I really love that. I wish more parents would do that today, but do it in a way that you're not forcing your kid to be in this business. Right. They're doing it because they want to. They see your vision. They 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 have a passion for it. Right. And that's what happened. I finally saw the vision, and the same passion he was. Um, doing business with that's the same passion it started growing in my heart and I'm like okay I'm all in wow so wow. that's so you um, on a different note I know we've talked before but you're the only um, one of his children that are working in the business with him right right so we're five in total yeah I'm the oldest and as we speak, I'm the only one in the business. Wow. So we are hoping that the other ones well, come, but come. we're not, you know, forcing yeah. anyone, right? But exactly. Everybody has their own life. And um, at some point, they may see his vision yes. and yours. Although well, they may never see it. Right. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. But that's fantastic that you enjoy what you do. I've seen you around. Um, I've only known you for a few months, but I feel like we've known each other for years. Yes. And so... Um, <laughs> I just love being in your presence, you know, because you, you. Uh, for everything you do, 
Um, do you have anything else you want to share on the radio station? Because I know there's a whole lot more you do. Yes, so I am also, and I love, love, love when other people ask me about, like, what else do you do? Because I'm very passionate of this uh, community that it's in Mesquite, and we are growing. So it's a women empowering community here in Mesquite, Texas. And I just love it, love it, because I can see how women from different backgrounds coming together and empowering each other. It's a sisterhood, it's a safe heaven, and we just focus on three major components, the mind, the body, and the soul. So it's everything, and we have events throughout the year, self-love events, we have speakers coming, mental health events as well. We have done painting with a twist, but we call it painting with a purpose. I love that. So it's just like, just amazing events to just help every woman out there feel empowered. And not just self-empowered. Sometimes we we think about that self-empowered that's very uh, promoted in the world, right? But the women empowerment that I talk about, it comes from God. He empowers us so we can feel empowered. And when your mind feels empowered, you can do all things, right? Right, exactly. Yes, exactly. So a little bit of this, that group, the community you're talking about is here in Mesquite. It is. Do you yes. have other groups elsewhere that other people can join? Or So right now we have it in Mesquite, but it is growing. So we are looking for women that want to do it in their cities. So yeah, we're awesome. always looking. Yeah. What does it take for a woman to be a part of your group? I mean, really, to be honest, is. If you want to come, you can come in, uh, to one of our events. You um, just join one of our events and you you just join. Really? Oh, wow. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. But most definitely, guys, I will be putting all these links on the bottom of this video yes. so that you guys can connect with Maria on that or even the radio station. Um, I would love for you, you know, to make this community bigger. As you guys know, we are here also in Mesquite. So that's really, really awesome. Do you have anything else you want to share? Well, I actually do. <laughs> okay. So I do have this awesome, awesome project that I already started. I know I spoke to you about a few months ago yeah. what I was going to start, and it's actually um, coming to life. Awesome. It's coming to life. So it's my own clothing line, so my own you? brand. Um, and it's called Power Chick. Also, again, that comes from God. God empowers me. So that that's, that was the name yeah. that God gave me. So wow. we're going to see that very soon in March. Awesome. Well, yes. I'm super excited. Thank you. Please let me know as soon as I can see that because oh, I would thank love you. to support. Um, as you know, I try to support as much small yes. businesses as I can. Um, Coffee with Sabrina started with really trying me going that extra step. To support because sometimes I have not been able to make it out to one of your events yet because it comes up and I already my schedule is yes, already full for the whole busy. month. This so, is good too. Busy is good. I'm doing a lot of things. Um, I told someone this morning I'm just addicted to learning. Like I'm so Great. totally I'm looking for the next thing. What what do I do next? What conference is next? What what classes should I take? So I'm always booked, but I'm really looking forward to um to you know, one of the events soon, so we're gonna talk we're about that. We're actually gonna have one very, very soon. Okay. Um, we're gonna have it March uh, 30th. Okay. It's gonna be at 3 p.m., so it's a Saturday. And that event is also a lot about mental health and self-love. Oh, see, I love that, I love that. Is there anything else you would like to share today? Well, I actually just wanna say thank you so much uh, for having me here. I feel so honored and um, I just I just want to bless you in the cameras because you're doing a big big thing for other people as well so God bless you and I know that God is gonna continue doing amazing things for you and for the, your loved ones well thank you so much and I you know right back at you I want to say thank you for saying yes 
Um, you came, we had the one on one, which was fantastic. Yes. Uh, we shared a lot of stories. For like I, four hours. <laughs> yeah, I felt like we shared some, te- you know, we shared some tears too. Yes. Um, but it was really, really great getting to know you, getting to know about the community and learning more because we, including myself, need women to empower us. Even if yes. we empower others, right. we need that back. And you That's support, right. you're everywhere, you're supporting everything and i'm really grateful that god connected us and yes, that we we definitely. get you know we know each definitely. other and then we're building on this relationship so definitely. thank you so much i really really thank appreciate you as well you. Well, guys, as you know, I am Sabrina Hussein, and I'm an insurance consultant and have been an insurance consultant for a little over 27 years. My agency is here in Mesquite. My license is in the state of Texas, so I can help you wherever you are. We can go virtual, whatever you need, if you need a consultation. We are actually here today at the Brasilia Studios. As you guys know, I launched this in December, and I am so grateful and thrilled to have my Coffee with Sabrina's, all my ads being done here, and the space is available for you also. If you're interested, just come see us. We're here at Mesquite. Until next time, thank you.